What's going on, everybody? Uh, first off, I just wanted to thank you for watching the uh, new episode on Forged and Fire. Uh, it is season seven, episode 33, the Japanese Ono. I really appreciate all the comments, all the support, all the appreciation. Uh, and I just wanted to do a little debrief today on how I felt about the show. And also I wanted to go ahead and key you in on a couple of things upcoming with uh, Brackenblades Forge. So one of the new things that I'm working on right now is apart from my website, I'm creating a blog. This blog is a free blog. You can go to it, you can keep in touch, you can reach out to me through email, you can talk to me. It's just basically gonna be an overall story of my life in past and current events. What's going on, how I live, uh, why do I do what I do, how do I keep going, you know, those kind of things. Just a general overall of my life. If you have deeper questions, you know, definitely feel free to reach out to me. There's a contact page. It's going to be cool. There's going to be some stuff on there that's not posted to Instagram and Facebook. So you definitely need to go over there and subscribe to the blog as well. This blog is also going to contain a ton of cool information like the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's going to be the broken pieces that happens, the stuff that you're not going to see in my YouTube videos. There's going to be behind the scenes stuff. You're going to see the shop more. You're going to really get to know me, the maker, um, through this blog. So I'm going to go ahead and segue into Forged in Fire the episode. I noticed that some people were wondering, you know, what I thought about the episode, how I'm feeling about it now that it's over, what did I feel during the episode when it was all happening. And so those are some of the questions that I'm going to go ahead and answer right now. Honestly, the best part of the show was really it was meeting the, the four guys that I met, uh, Dale, Dale Paris, Nick Nichols, and Keaton Goddard. Those dudes, we still talk every day, you know, multiple different social media apps. We send videos to each other. We talk about struggles we have. We help each other out around the shop. So if we have questions or we uh, want to know how to get something done the way they do it, we just bombard each other with information. In all honesty, I mean, the hardest part of the show was just, um, was really the dis disappointment in, uh, and, not, and not being the champ. It was really hard. As much as I'm you know, grateful and thankful and even honored that Keaton won, um, it was still really, really hard because this was kind of a time in our life when my family and I were going through some financial struggles and we were really hoping that the show, uh, winning the show was, was going to kind of give us that boost that we needed. And so when, when that didn't happen, that, that really felt like a dagger to the gut, um, especially to be, uh, sent home on a, on a weight factor. That was kind of a, just a, kind of just a disappointment, even though that was hard. Um, and I was disappointed. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, you know, $10,000 is a lot of money and I would really like $10,000, but in all honesty, Nick Dale and Keaton's friendship is worth its weight. There's no value on their friendship. And so, you know, if I could go back and change it and get the $10,000 but not have friends, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, you're good. I think the biggest thing that I learned from the show was, um, was just who I am as a bladesmith. I think if I could change one thing, it wouldn't be the judge's decision. Um, I'm really proud of Keaton for winning. He's a good friend of mine and I'm thankful for that. The one thing that I would change on the show, honestly, nothing. I like the way the show went. I like the way the show turned out and I appreciate all the comments, you know, negative included. Um, that's the thing, you know, I wouldn't change anything. The amount of people that have added me on Facebook and the support has been really, really overwhelming. I'm really appreciative of it. Um, my, my, my YouTube's kind of growing slowly. My Instagram's growing slowly. Everything's growing slowly. You know, there's tons of comments across the board. Multiple different social media platforms are talking about the differences between the two blades. And, you know, when you read the comments, it's, it's almost like they're trying to, you know, oh, well, this guy's better, or this guy's better, or this guy's better. And I can tell you this right now, that's not what it was about for us. It was about camaraderie. It was about making a weapon that we believed in. And that's the, what we're gonna keep doing moving forward as well. We're gonna keep making weapons we believe in. So to the negative naysayers out there, you know, hey, I appreciate it. You know, keep on commenting. If you really, you know, really have a strong opinion about it, you know, my, my, my response to that is uh, on either weapon, you go make it. Um, to the positive, we really appreciate the support. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the lower right end of the screen. Give it a like. Go watch my other videos. 
They're great. They're insane. Go watch Keaton's video. Go watch Nick's videos and go watch Dale's videos. Y'all need to subscribe to all those channels because there's big things coming in the future and you're going to want to be a part of it. Peace out, y'all.